Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. Let's build where we help scrappy bootstrappers just like yourself figure out how to overcome some of the hurdles that they're facing or to make themselves more efficient day after day. Now, before we dive into today's topic, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. We got lots of videos up there that go through all sorts of low code and no code solutions out there, including Retool, Google Data Studio, uh, the Shopify API, Google Apps Scripts, Google Sheets itself, which is really powerful, uh, as well as many other applications uh, out there. Now, if you don't see an app that you're looking for, feel free to shoot an email over to feedback at bootstrapping.tools. We'll be happy to take a look at that app, and possibly make a video just for you. Now, today we're actually following up on a video that we released last week uh, on creating a table of contents. And so what we're doing today is we're going to be creating a way for you to automatically update your Google Sheets table of contents. Uh, before we just had a script that you would just run and then it would generate it out and paste it into your table of contents tab. What we're gonna do today is when people add or remove a sheet. We're going to trigger it off so that it generates it and then pastes it into your sheet. So you don't really have to run the script anymore. You just have to install all of this code, set it all up. And then once anybody goes into it, whether that's your team or somebody else or yourself, even as you're manipulating the sheet, it'll just automatically update uh, the table of contents. So it's always showing the most up-to-date list of the different tabs that you have, as well as the links to them. So, uh, what we're going to be using today is actually uh, Google Sheets and then also Google App Scripts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right. So up on the screen, we have the build that we made uh, last week where we basically uh, created a script over here, generate TOC, which uh, connected with the spreadsheet app, got all the sheets that were involved in it. Uh, made a list, uh, a, an array of all those sheet names, made it into a URL using a formula, the formula hyperlink, which is unique to Google Sheets, uh, added that into the sheet and then pasted it into the table of contents tab that we have in our spreadsheet. So what we're gonna do today instead um, is as people add in new sheets, what we want to also happen is that you don't have to go into tools and then macros and then run the generate TOC script or, you know, create a shortcut or create a button and then people have to click on it. What we're going to do instead is as people just um, add or remove uh, tabs or sheets, we're going to automatically trigger and fire off the script generate TOC so that it just automatically updates this um, list over here. So going over to our uh, code, the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're going to set it up so that we are refreshing that list. Because if you're having automation with anything, you're going to want to just like delete anything that is uh, out of date in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to line 12 over here where we have the, uh, the TOC sheet. And before we get the range, what we're going to say is um, TOC sheet dot get data range. All right. And then we're going to say clear content. And what this is essentially going to do this line right here is before we even paste in or, or get the range to paste in the new data, we're going to go into the existing sheet, this one right over here, and we're going to clear everything out of it so that when we do paste in the new data, it's coming from a fresh, clean slate. And this is a really good practice to do when you're doing any type of automation that runs off of a trigger or a scheduled um, uh, job. So we're gonna save this, and now we're gonna start off with the new function. So this function, we're gonna call trigger TOC. And then within there, we're gonna pass through E for events. And the reason that we're doing this is because um, we're going to essentially create a trigger uh, that will fire this function whenever someone uh, makes a change on the spreadsheet. And when someone does that, the data is going to come through in a certain variable. So we're going to name that E in this case, and we're going to grab information off of E in order to determine what we should do with that data, because someone can change a particular cell or a value within the spreadsheet, but you don't want to generate the table of contents every single time someone does that. You only want to generate the table of contents when someone adds in a new sheet or removes a sheet. So what we'll do here is just as a quick test, uh, we're going to say, change type is a variable. We're going to declare that. We're going to set that equal to e.change type camel case. 
and so the reason I'm doing it like this is because there's a bunch of event objects that we can do. Let's actually open that up. This is the Google um, uh, documentation for all of this. So go over to change. So this is an installable trigger over here. There's a change type variable that we can get and it has a bunch of these different um, available options for us. We're gonna use insert grid and remove grid uh, as the as the way that we're gonna determine what someone did uh, if they inserted something or removed a tab. There's also a bunch of other things that you can use as well. Uh, but that's really up to you if you want it. We only need the change type in this case. So going back over to our code, let's just make sure this is working properly. We're gonna do console.log and then we're gonna say change type. All right, so change type, we'll add a colon there and make it easy to read. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the triggers option up on the upper left over here. Click on that. We're gonna add in a new trigger. Generate TOC is not the one we want. We wanna say trigger TOC from spreadsheet. Event type is on change. So when we save this, now the triggers are gonna be in here. And then we're gonna go over here and then we're just gonna say, add a new sheet, it's gonna be 28. And then let's also delete it. So we go back over here to our executions. We're gonna see that trigger, that's where we are. Change type is remove grid. And then the one right before that is insert grid. So that's the exact types that we want. So going back over to our code, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an if statement. So we're gonna say if change type, double equal sign for, for the comparison, make sure it's double equal signs and not one single equal sign, because that would just mean that you're setting change type equal to that. Um, but having double is a comparison. So you say insert grid or, so that's double pipes uh, to indicate or change type is equal to remove grid. So when this happens, let's put a console log in here. And we just say the console log is gonna say we want to update the TOC and then else we'll say we do not want to, do not want to update the TOC. All right, so let's save that. Going back over to our spreadsheet here. Let's say someone's manipulating stuff. They say sheet nine, they are just going ahead and say what stuff. All right, so that actually triggers it. So we can see up here, it was triggered. We go into it. We can see that the logic is correct. The change that was edit. So we do not want to update the TOC. However, if we clicked on the plus sign here, now sheet 29 exists. Up here is a brand new trigger. And it's going to say that insert grid is a new one. And it says we want to update the TOC. So perfect. Now our logic is working as expected. We can go back into our code. We can start generating the, uh, the table of contents. So we're just going to go ahead and copy our function generate TOC. And then we're going to replace the console log in the first one um, to just say generate TOC. And then in the second part, we're just going to say return just to end everything. So now what this is going to do is whenever someone makes a change on the spreadsheet, it's going to check the change type. And if it is equal to insert grid or remove grid, then we're going to generate the table of contents. However, if it doesn't, then we're just going to do absolutely nothing and just ignore it. So it'll just be the trigger that doesn't do anything for us. So going back over here, let's go over to our table of contents and let's hit the add sheet button. 30. You just notice that this is now, this just flashed momentarily and sheet 30 is located there now. And if we say we're going to delete sheet 30 in the table of contents, it's going to flash. And now row 30 is no longer in cell A1. It starts off with sheet nine. So one more time real quick um, for, for anybody who might have missed it, we're going to actually, let's go ahead and just increase the zoom function over here. We're going to say add new sheet and then it's going to flash and sheet 31 is now la labeled up top. We can click into it and it'll take us directly to sheet 31. 
And same thing goes if we go all the way to the end over here. Sheet eight is the one that we were ending with. So right here, if we remove this, and then we go all the way back to the table of contents, sheet eight is no longer there because our trigger is run. We can actually go over to our execution logs and see that we removed the grid. And so we ran the sheet names all over again and insert it in. But that's essentially how you automate the generation of your table of contents. If you did run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment in the section below. We're always happy to help, so don't be shy. Uh, of course, if, um, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, it's the best way to support this channel and help ensure that we can continue to make content for you and all you scrappy bootstrappers out there. Of course, we got lots of videos coming up, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified when we release the next video. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. Let's build. It's been a pleasure and we're out.